Well, hello people, this seems to be uh, the point at which I like starting the videos. I'm at the, the bridge where I was at last time. So just leaving civilization there. Uh, so I'm out for just a day hike. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking for some um, hammocking spots. Uh, there's also a spot that's quite close by. Sorry, that sun's there. It's also a spot that's quite close by, which I probably won't use in the summer because you can see evidence of people, um, you know, up there drinking, having fires, blah blah blah. But for the rest of the winter, it could be pretty good. There's not so many people there. So I'm going to go check that out. It's about half the distance of my last walk. Like I have to walk through it to get where I was. Um, and also, the reasons I am only doing a little day trip is. Yep. I've got my hand in plaster, so I had a wee accident at work and uh, <laughs> damaged some ligaments in my wrist. So I'm off for a wee bit, uh, about another week yet, probably. But I've got to go and see a, another specialist on Saturday and see what the verdict is. So sorry for that sun there. So um, yeah. You join me, just a little day one. I've got 25 litre pack, just my a pack I normally use for going to and from work and whatnot. Um, <laughs> when you see it, it looks like it's really full, but about 10 litres of that probably is just my, <laughs> my waterproof jacket. It's quite a heavy waterproof jacket, a military one, but it's really, really good. Really good jacket. <laughs> so, apart from that, I've got my wee cook set you saw before. I've nicked just one sort of meal out. Uh, uh, ration pack again it's one you've actually seen before but um, the guy in the military shop buys them by the pallet so they're not mixed so until he sells off all that pallet he's uh, it's the same menu he's got oh well but I've added a little bit of got some rice there to add to it I feel that's what was missing rice or potato or something from the main meals uh, that's if I get a fire going if not I'm just using the little not a hexablock burner that comes with it. We'll see, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go up, take a stroll. It's a beautiful day, maybe rain coming later. That's why I've got the, the jacket. Uh, but yeah, should be a good little walk. I need to get out of the house. I've been sitting in the house doing nothing. Can't even play my Xbox because <laughs> I'm already snackled. So yeah, it's good to get out. There you go everyone, I have found, I've decided on this little spot, well for today, I might be clear it out a bit for a hammock hang, but I found this handy dandy tree stump, dry, somewhere to sit, ground's good for making fires, not like it was up in the other wood, this is, this is clay ground. As you can see there is a ton of wood, sort of smaller stuff lying around, it's setting up, it's reasonably Pardon me, reasonably dry. Um, that's the kind of path in there, if you can kind of see a path. Uh, there is a path this direction, so you probably can't see it because of the sun, but all this small stuff is so thick that you, you just you can't see into this bit. So, and there's a wee bit here as well. Maybe not break the wind just now, but that thicket stuff shelters you from the wind a bit. So I'm going to... We've organised and... Uh, was that some kind of hawk or... I don't know what bird that was. Anyway, so I'm going to get organised a wee bit. Get myself comfy. Think about having a wee spot of lunch. I really like this spot, it's really nice. So guys, I've got fire going. And, oh yeah, that's actually really hot. Probably don't need to put that on top of there. But, um, got the fire going. Um, just making a cup of coffee. Put my little tree stump here. It's nice coals now, so I'll be able to cook later on. Yeah, just gonna make a nice strong coffee. Still lovely weather. We're waiting on some clouds coming in. But 
I've got my waterproofs there, but I don't think we're actually going to get caught by the by the rain. By the time I need to head home, maybe on the way home. So we shall see what happens. It's just nice to be out here, a little fire, chilling out, a little coffee, something to eat. Got myself as well. Christ, that's nearly boiling already. I've been on there two minutes. I got myself a little, uh, I think these are actually quite invaluable, man. A little do rag. I think in British money and pounds that cost about. I don't know. Three pounds? Something like that. You can put it on your neck, you can put it on your head, you can hang it, or I'll probably use it for just because I, I think the handle's going to be hot just over those ashes there. Yeah, enjoying being out so far. I didn't show you the starting of the fire or anything like that because I, I basically used the, I don't know, trioxane, whatever, whatever it is that uh, comes in the Polish rations. You know, the little, the little tablets for cooking on. So because the, the wood's like, it's not 100% dry, a lot of it is a little bit wet. Um, I just wanted to use the trioxane because it, you know, it burns for a little while whilst drying the stuff out just to, to get that caught. So it's taken a little while to get it at this stage, but most stuff should burn now because I've got a, a good bed of coals. So, you know, it's pretty hot. I mean, look at that, that's boiling already. And, the, and literally, I put that on there and turned the camera on. That's phenomenally fast, man. Oh, that water's already boiling. Literally there, I... That's one of the fastest boils I've seen. Faster than any uh, gas stove, anyway. I literally, I... Put the water in there. Enough for a big coffee. I put it on, on the fire. And then I went and just pressed record on the on the phone, and that's already that's boiled in that time. Was that a minute? Two minutes? And this is quite a big bit of like a good sized bit of water as well, because I'm using three of these little uh, packets to make one coffee. Good size coffee. Although I'll need to wait a wee bit before uh, before I uh, before I drink it because obviously the cup's going to be hot. Bring it back in a set. I just need to grab my spoon, my spork. Yeah, so I'm just burning this fire down the coals. I'm in no rush. It's a bit of a messy fire because. I don't have my saw out with me, I don't have my axe out with me uh, and I can't really use my right hand for it so snapping off a couple of bits but they have to be long, they have to be long there's not much I can do about it today but yeah, as you've seen, I've, I've made my coffee and uh, and sit and chillax with that and then I'll, I'll probably bring you guys back when I'm going to when I'm going to do a little bit of cooking I suppose so yeah I'll see you guys in a bit there we go guys so I've got um, I've got the pork on you can see the little can on the on the left and I've got some rice on in the bottom of that canteen just over there, a little bit of water boiling the bag rice so I'm going to cook them off, add them together and have myself a nice little lunch uh, and then I'm probably going to snap off them little bits of log that I don't need and 
that that fire hydrant burned down before I go. Yeah, we should have a nice little lunch going soon. So, I don't know if you can see or not, but these, uh, like in the in the kit for these, it comes with like this, which is a straight thing, but you can bend it. And what it is is a like a little grabber. So, with that, with a pot, with your can, and you can take it off. It's quite a simple little thing, but it's quite effective. <coughs> So all I'm doing now is just breaking this up. I had to add water to it because I, I moved the fire. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a bit sore on my hand. Um, I moved the fire and it actually, uh, it actually fell over, so I lost a bit of the, like the gravy. A little put this back on. It's not very long though, so you get some knuckle burners. So guys, there you go, I've uh, cooked what I'm going to cook now. I've had to let it cool down a little bit. Yeah. It's still hot in here. I wish I brought the Tabasco out with me now. But um, yeah, that's basically a, a kind of pork and gravy and uh, rice combo. Cause I'm actually really hungry now. It's actually it's really good. But, uh, a little bit of Tabasco would have been nice. So I'm going to finish this. Enjoy it. Sit here, chillax. Wait till that fire dies down and sort it out and, uh, and head off. Anyway, I would love to be staying out tonight, but I'm doing this just today with only one hand. It's actually shown me it would be not impossible, but quite difficult. You know, when it comes to gathering enough wood for the whole night and uh, certainly setting up a hammock or a tent or whatever would actually be quite quite difficult so um, yeah, it's nice just to get out for a, a little bit I've got an hour or two before I need to head off and that'll give me plenty of time of getting home uh, but this is a nice little spot I can definitely clean it out a little bit uh, and have a hammock here or have my not my lavu because it's not a Polish lavu no such word in Polish as lavu, it's a bowatka. Lavu, I think, is a Finnish word. Or shelter or something. But um, everyone that calls these Polish lavus, they're not Polish lavus, they're bowatka do popolsku. Which is your shelter half. But I'm sure they have similar things in Poland and they do in like Hungary and Czech Republic and you know, whatever they call them. Oh, Russians have one that's that flash black So, yes. It's not a lavu, it's a powatka do popolsku. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this food. It is there. Doesn't look like much, but tastes good. Hello everyone, it's me heading off, 
Uh, I didn't, I didn't video me. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, putting the fire out and all that jazz because uh, I don't think you want to necessarily see that every time. You'll have to trust that I know what I'm doing. Um, see, I'm heading out. Um, that's been a lovely little spot. <clears throat> just where we are there, there's like a. Where I'm just heading out in front of me, there's like a wee dip, a wee. Uh, like a wee rise, and there's one behind me as well, it kind of shelters you from the wind, which is very nice. Uh, still, there's like just an amazing amount of wood around. Although, if I, uh, if I turn this camera around, see, we're in a pocket, you see these trees with the looks like little bits of ivy on them, but am I right in thinking that's like a a type of poplar or well, I don't know by the bark a type of ash or uh, I don't know but um, I definitely wouldn't trust these trees in any kind of high winds because uh, there's a few of them that look a wee bit a wee bit iffy the old widow makers Yeah, this is where we come out. Just this wee pocket of wood. As I say, it's not the biggest wood, but just that wee bit there, where we were. Like if you look through there, all that little scrub. It's like you know, all new trees, like real scrub. Like you can't, you just can't see in it. There's no chance. So again, we'll see what it's like for the summer, but. Definitely for the winter, for the next couple of months, I I think it'll be all right. <coughs> so, well, that's my waterproof jacket. I don't know if you can see it right there, but uh, love this jacket, very very good. It's a wee bit colder now. The clouds have came in, so I've got that on just to it's a wee bit of a windbreaker. So that's our wee daily adventure over today. I'm heading back. There's no point doing much more after this. Uh, but yeah, again, if you if you like this video today, just a wee impromptu one, you know, just to get something done. I thought I was going to get back on track now last week, and then I hurt my wrist. So, what are you going to do? But um, yeah, if you like this video, you know, please think about subscribing, like it, share, comment. Uh, comments are always welcome. Especially if they're constructive or they have some ideas, you know. Um, and then again, click that wee notification bell if you want notifi uh, notification. Jeez, I can never say this. Notified of videos out uh, because I don't have a, a sort of strict or regimented upload scheme. It's just as and when, really. Uh, but yeah, I mean, thanks. Thanks for watching. And I really appreciate your uh, your subscriptions, and I will see you in the next one. I think we're gonna we're gonna develop that wee camp a little bit because I've got down this path down this path a wee bit. I've got access to sort of bricks and stuff. I can make a nice wee fire surround. And just up behind me, I know there's quite a bit of sand, so that'd be quite good for lining a fire pit. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it is. Anyway. Thanks all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ra.